Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Nick, the software design teacher. I'm just giving you a heads up about some of the things we have here in Minecraft. So this is me opening Minecraft Education Edition. Now we use this at my school. Uh, a lot of other schools are using it as well. Most schools, organizations throughout most of the world have some sort of license connected. Okay, our school uh, at New South Wales, Department of Education, fortunately we have a license to use it. Um, it is a really great tool for us to be able to do things in. Um, please get in touch with your school so that you can get this great, great feature available to them. Okay, I'm going to show you um, some very quick basics about the interface. Once you've logged in, you'll typically be logging in using your uh, school email address. So just like I'm doing now, I'm going to show you how we would do that. I'm going to click on sign in. You'll see that I come up, it shows me my sign in and I'm going to log in using that um, account. As a teacher at my school, I do it using um, my email address. As a teacher, as a student, you'll be using uh, your e student email address. You're going to be doing it using um, uh, at education.nsw.gov.au if you're in the um, public education system, which is what I am. Okay. Once you've logged in, you'll see you've got your avatars um, set up. You'll be able to click on settings, change accounts if you've got one a brother or a sister as well um, who have also got an education account. Um, but simply after that, you click play. You can then choose things like creating a new world, you can join another world, or you can import a world. So if you've got a world that you've backed up somewhere else, you can actually add it back in again. So to do that, you would click on import and then it would ask you what file do you want to see, okay, and you would navigate to that file and then press open. All right, you can click on the library and you'll see a whole bunch of other activities to have a look at. You can also click on um, view my worlds and that's going to show you all the other worlds that you've been working on in the past. Okay, so right now I'm just going to do a very basic setup. I'm going to create a new world. Okay, um, I can choose from templates. The thing that you should always try to start in is using the tutorial world. So when you click on the tutorial world and then click play, it'll then load up that tutorial world. And that's a really good world to use for the very first time user because it actually teaches you how to use the software as you are playing it. Okay, you can see all these little characters and everything. As I um, see, I, my first instruction is to begin by pressing W to move forward. And that's what I do. Okay. Um, as you'll notice, the closer we get, I can click on my little characters, I can right click and it set, gives me a few instructions. Okay, as I move on, I can choose the WAS and D and I can start to move through. I can press S so that I can go back, I can push D so I can go right and left and all that different kind of stuff. As you move through the world, it will actually teach you how to use it, okay, which is really good for those first time users. Okay, as I get closer and closer, I'm starting to learn now which ways I need to follow. Okay, um, if you want to be able to move, turn your head, you'd be using the mouse as well, but you would have found that out. You can also save your world. So I've just hit escape on the keyboard and notice now I can click save and exit. So if I save that world, it's going to ask me, yep, am I sure I want to do that? Yeah, of course I want to save it. I've also got it um, now saved in that world here. I can also click on that world and choose settings. And that is how I can change a few settings, but that is also how I can export the world. So see this button here, export world. Now if I click on that, it's going to ask me where do I want to send it to. Now, whoops. I'm going to send it so that I've got a desktop. I'm going to call it tutorial. I'm going to save it on that desktop. And now you'll see that it's exporting. It's finished. And now I've got a backup of that world. Now that world is great. You can back that up to your Google Drive or your OneDrive or anything else you want. Okay, and then you'll be able to use that at any time. That's also how you import the world again. So you click on import, okay, and you can see that there's my world there. I clicked on that world and I pressed open. It's gonna start importing that world, okay, and you'll see it now in view my world. So you can see I've actually got now a double copy of that world. Okay, so that's your very basic introduction to using Minecraft. Uh, in the next lesson, you'll see that we actually start to go into the coding and that's where we start to get into the, the nitty gritty of, of our digital technologies course. Okay, so thank you very much today, guys. 
um, and I hope everyone's enjoying 